Here we go, 2001 Audi A4. No keys, got to do keys for it. Uh, we're going to focus on how to remove the lock cylinder and how to decode that to make a key for this car. The only There's two lock cylinders located on this car, outside of the car that is. And one of them is on the driver door lock, that's the one we're going to use. Uh, the other one is the trunk lock, which is the one where hopefully we don't have to use. But uh, this is where we're going to make keys for the car. We've got a couple screws that holds the uh, panel on the driver's door. We're going to remove those and access the lock. We've got one screw right here that we had to remove. And another screw, another screw right here. Just small Phillips. And then this whole panel, the whole inside door panel will lift up and come out. So we're going to lift up right now so we can access the inside, inside of the panel. This is what you have. You got some electrical cables and you have the cable that operates your latch from the inside to the outside. And you got the rest of the components. I'll lay that flat for right now. But this, this panel right here, we're gonna have to slide it out. It's held in by a couple plastic retainers, one here and another one right here. These things will just pull out. I'll take a small screwdriver and pull it out. This is the way this uh, piece looks. This is the back side of it. This here would be up against the latch area. Other than that, it's real simple to remove. Once I get this uh, piece here moved like I need to remove it, then the handle will slide out. It'll just slide out. Okay? I do it from the outside here. So it'll slide out just like that. So I'm going to remove this piece here and uh, just like that little retainer to hold that holds the rod for the the door latch I'll remove that and we'll take the handle off one second now once we got this piece here off that just freed up the door lock right there so come around to the other side booyah see there's the handle there's the handle right there so we're gonna take that out take this lock out so we've got the lock cylinder out uh, not the lock cylinder, but we've got the handle off, and uh, we've got it in the shop on the bench. We're going to take this lock cylinder out and make keys for it. So we got a few pieces to uh, take out here, and stuff like that. We had to take this retainer off, and behind it is a spring. And then you got a few more pieces here that we're going to take out so we can get to the lock cylinder itself to take it off we're just going to lift this whole piece out just like that and set it to the side we'll take this off and we'll be at the lock cylinder we'll be able to take it out actually we can push it out through the front okay well we got our work cut out for us doing it this way since there's no key code on the lock anywhere i can see the chambers for chamber eight seven six and there's number five right there and when I rotate it over I can also see chamber chamber number one so I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna do this uh, a different way from what you would expect but I'm going to use some depth of spacing keys here to help me determine what the bidding is. Uh, you have uh, eight chambers, uh, four of them are even and four of them are odd. So I'm going to use these depth and spacing keys here to determine what the depth of each one of those chambers are 
and I've, all, I've got, uh, I can see four chambers. I'm going to put that information into uh, my key program, and it's going to give me some variables, and I'm going to use those variables to cut a key for this lock. So I fed that information I got off of those three, uh, excuse me, off of those four tumblers into my key program here, and uh, it, it comes up uh, depending on the uh, uh, initial bidding. Uh, the ones I got was the four two one one for the last four, and I could see the number one, which is a number three depth. So what I'm looking to get is the number two through four and one of these variables over here that you can see right there one of those will work I'll see which one does so I ran a couple of the progressions and I finally have one here that will work uh, this lock. There it is right there. Now, if I took the key out, the whole thing could just spin, you know. But that's not, that's not the key operating the lock. Because as you can see on the back here, you want this plug to rotate without this moving. So stick the key in there. Boom. There we go. See that? We got a key. All right, now we're going to check this on the car to make sure that it works on the ignition as well. Our Audi right here. This is the inside of this bad boy. Let's see here, we get over here to the ignition. Lock cylinder. Stick our key in there that we made. Oh boy! We're ready to do some cutting and programming. This car doesn't have any power on it, so we hope that uh, there's nothing wrong that we can't put power on it and do a, a key program and finish this job. And if we'd have had to program a key into the car, then we could have moved into a different phase of programming. But the 2001 Audi does not use a transponder key. Anyway, so now you see it. That's the way the keys are made for this car. Another great episode.